This is the Apple silicone case for the iPhone 15 Pro Max in green, and it cost me $49. We need to talk about what's going on with Apple cases. Historically, Apple has always made great accessories for their products. So when you bought an Apple product, and you knew that you were getting a well-constructed item. And this was true from their laptops all the way down to their phone cases. But I think things are changing recently, and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about in this video. Of course, this case has an excellent design. Even from the first moment you click it into your phone, there's a very satisfying animation that plays with the haptic, and I love that. The color, of course, I said is amazing, and so I think they always nail the design for their cases. Next, feel in the hand. Now, the materials themselves dictate feel in the hand a lot of the times, but I also think that the profile of the case will also do that. And Apple does a great job of keeping their bezels to a minimum. Here it is next to a silicone case off of Amazon that's a lot bulkier and less flexible, which I think negatively impacts how it feels in the hand. The buttons are also extremely clicky and very easy to use, and you don't really lose anything transitioning from phone without case to phone with case with this case. Protection is really important, and in my seven or so years of using Apple cases, I've never really had an issue with their ability to protect the phone from dents, scratches, and cracks. The lip over the camera does not extend much at all over the camera itself, maybe a millimeter or two, and it's hard to perceive, so I'm a little nervous about that. On the front, the lip is a little bit thicker, and it's flush with the screen protector so that there's no awkward sensation near the edges of the display, especially since the bezels on the 15 Pro Maxes are so thin. Now this case has not held up well at all, even in the three weeks that I've had it. The first case that I had dented really hard off of a three foot fall from my hip. And this second case also dented after a similar fall. On Reddit and in my own friends and family's experiences, the silicone cases have just not held up well. And that brings me to my last point about the shift towards eco-friendly materials for their accessories at Apple. Now, this article came out in September or so, and it said that Apple is moving away from silicone, which makes sense considering they just debuted their fine woven, higher premium end cases to replace the leather. We all know that those weren't received well, but it, nobody expects a first generation replacement to be as good as the thing that it replaced. So I expect, and I think we can all expect that fine woven will get better, but Apple is gonna be transitioning the silicone away as well, which altogether isn't surprising, but it's just helpful to know about. Okay, to summarize two things, the $49 price tag for the silicone cases is kind of hard to justify now, given all the quality control mishaps and the lack of durability. From a design standpoint and a protection standpoint, it does great, but you can also find that on Amazon for $20 if you don't care as much as I do about color. The shift away from silicone towards whatever materials go into the next eco-friendly case. Just wanted you guys to be aware of this trend because it kind of snuck up on me a little bit and I was a little disappointed this past fall. Anyway, short video, if you learned something, I would love it if you subscribed. Next time I'll be talking about productivity systems. If you're interested in that, also get subscribed and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.